What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Security Breach Theory video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the, the, the true ending I think people are calling it, even though I, I personally feel like the, the Princess Quest ending is the true ending, I feel like that's the most canon ending, where you save uh, Gregory, Vanessa and uh, technically like half of Freddy, but Freddy as well. I feel like that's kind of like the canon ending, but I feel like it's also debatable because there's no kind of indication on which one is the canon ending. But I feel like this one was kind of called the true ending for a while. Let's call it the Afton ending. Okay, in these videos we're going to call it the Afton ending because that's what it is. It's, it's the Afton ending. Yeah, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Afton ending today. Um, it's a really weird ending and I was saying this in the first video that I did about this, uh, which is all about the fire and um and what all of this represents um but there are weird parts in it and it none of it is really explained at all and i think it it was what kind of let security beach down a lot is the fact that there's not much story involved there is a lot of of theorizable points but that's not necessarily a good thing even though i do like theorizing about games i do like a little bit of confirmation i do like a lot of things to to pick on uh, but to be able to get the story uh, and and right now I don't really get the story everything just kind of came out of nowhere um, Afton came out of nowhere this weird blob thing which we're going which we're going to be talking about today kind of came out of nowhere and really it, it, it just doesn't it doesn't work as much as the other games uh, and they're kind of like secret endings I feel like this had so much potential and one big um, improvement I think a lot of people said um, uh, could be made to Security Breach is for Vanny to have made more of an appearance and for Afton to make more of an appearance. Um, but unfortunately we haven't got that. Uh, I hope in the DLC um, they'll, they'll add something like that. They probably will. But today we're going to be talking about this really weird animatronic, probably the weirdest animatronic in the entire series, which is kind of, kind of big and big in two different ways because today we're going to be talking about the blob which is this conglomeration uh it is like a hundred times the size of afton actually no that's that is not mathematically correct it's a lot bigger than afton it's a lot bigger than a lot of the other characters in the game and really <laughs> it yeah it, it really came out of nowhere um basically if you haven't seen the afton ending yet which i feel like you should have um we find this this weird monster and it primarily has uh, Molten Freddy's head or a, a Freddy head and uh, and it's built of these wires and loads of endoskeletons and a lot of different animatronic parts from the previous games. So I will list some of them. So of course we have the main kind of head which is what you get jump scared by. I believe this to be kind of Molten Freddy, uh, Funtime Freddy. Uh, just kind of a continuation of the Ennard Funtime Freddy, oh Funtime Freddy, uh, eh, Funtime Freddy, Funtime Freddy, Ennard, Molten Freddy, <laughs> you can tell I haven't brushed up on my FNAF knowledge recently. Just a kind of continuation of that, uh, we've got our mini timeline going on there. And then we also have parts from Bonnie, Chica, we have a lot of endo parts I've seen, including legs and arms and heads. Uh, we also have a mangle, and then there are two which are very, very strange indeed, and that is the puppet and baby. Now the reason these are strange is because, as you see, and as MatPat stated in his video, all of them, all of the faces, have red eyes glowing. Glowing red eyes. Um, baby does not. The puppet does not, and even weirder for the puppet, the puppet doesn't have teardrops as it usually does. So it's, it's it's all really, really strange. There's something going on here. Obviously, the child that that possessed Baby is Elizabeth, uh, who is an Afton. And the child who possessed the puppet was Charlotte, who is Henry Hen Henry's daughter. I was going to say an Emily, but we don't know if that's the last name yet. So really, if there's anybody the most important out of all of this lot that are in the blob, I feel like it is Baby and the Puppet, and it's kind of weird how they are the ones that don't have red eyes. What could that mean? Um, it instantly kind of clicked in my head. It made me think of kind of the FNAF 3 ending, um, where or the FNAF 3 endings, where some of the, the heads have glowing eyes, and those are the ones that are not put to rest yet. But once they are put to rest, 
then the glowing disappears and the animatronics are, are peaceful and the, the children are put to peace or put to rest. So does that mean that all of the uh, children possessing uh, the blob are actually, uh, they never had, they were, they were never burnt in the fire. And I, I feel like that is pretty big to say. Yeah, I, I, I think it is. Which sort of means that even though Happiest Day showed up all the way back in FNAF 3, Happiest Day hasn't really happened yet. And I hate to believe that, hap that Happiest Day hasn't happened, but um, to be honest, to be honest, FNAF 3 did have different endings and I believe now we kind of know that the canon ending is the one where the children's souls aren't freed. It's really weird, it's really weird because of course we do have, we, we have a Freddy, we have a Bonnie, we have a Chica, we have a Foxy, okay? We have one of each. It's kind of clear that there are children possessing this with the with the glowing eyes and if these are the, the original missing children's incident uh, kids, then um, it's it's really weird because we've already seen them kind of dissipate. But um, yeah, so it, it's all very strange. Um, happiest day probably hasn't happened yet. Is the happiest day ever going to happen? Is the happiest day even canon, or is it just showing us um, kind of the the physics and the mechanics of this world uh, of Five Nights at Freddy's? So yeah, the weird thing about this is that Charlotte and Elizabeth don't have the red eyes. Does that mean that they have had their happiest day? I don't think so. I think it means that they're somewhere else. Maybe Charlotte might have, because we don't see Charlotte anywhere else in the game. But it's possible that Elizabeth could um, could be in Vanessa, as, as Matt Pye is saying. I'm very reluctant to say that because I'm not sure if I believe it or not. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get backlash for saying anything like that, but um, hopefully I won't. Elizabeth could be somewhere else, Charlotte could be somewhere else, or they could have had their happiest days already. Uh, yeah, I refuse to believe that they've had their happiest days. Oh, actually, one thing I do want to quickly point out, and this is completely off the top of my head, this isn't like, I haven't written this down anywhere or anything, so I might completely mess it up, but I believe that there is a Knight Marion sound effect uh, down in the sewers when you get jump scared by the uh, the nightmare staff bots. I believe there is a Knight Marion uh, audio clip in there, uh, one of like a scream or something. Um, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but I, I do believe that Charlotte could be possessing all of these in the sewer, so maybe there's something bigger than the blob going on here. <laughs> Seems like Charlotte might be having a cult. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, I'm still gonna make some, a few videos about um, those kind of bots and the sewers and all of that. There's so much to cover on Security Breach, honestly. But yeah, Charlotte could be possessing that. Elizabeth could be p possessing uh, Vanessa or whatever. Um, so yeah, that, that's all good. Um, and actually speaking of this, I, I do wanna move on to this swiftly. Um, because it's quite an important thing to point out and um, I think it's very possible that this could be true. Um, could the blob be the Afton amalgamation from the Stitch Ray Stingers? And what I mean by that is um, essentially is the Stitch Race timeline can or not canon but in the same continuity as these games? It's possible because it happens after Ultimate Custom Night or during after Ultimate Custom Night, um, we get William back. Uh, he explodes into, you you know, you know the whole lore of, of Fazbear Frights, I'm sure. But then this Afton amalgamation comes up 
and then suddenly it disappears. The puppet goes with it. I believe it goes in, in this weird river or pond or something. And then that's the end of all of that. It's kind of just left alone. Uh, and then of course we have Eleanor who uh, looks like Elizabeth. Oh, I say Elizabeth, but circus baby. It's it's all it's all strange. It's all strange. So it seems like we we could have more of Charlotte. We could have more baby. But um, are the stitch race singers canon uh, or in the same continuity? I believe they could be. I believe they could be. We do see a snack space in Security Breach, which is kind of cool. We do see a fetch. Uh, arcade game and I do just want to say quickly that not every story may be, may be canon. Uh, it, it may just be the stories that are canon to the Stitch Race Stingers. Okay. I've got one more point to, uh, to talk about real quick uh, and that is the theory that this corresponds to the big Afton, again, Afton amalgamation in Princess Quest and I say Afton amalgamation here, actually this could be this could have a correlation with the actual Afton amalgamation, but we'll get into that some other time maybe. But this individual theory is that basically the blob plus Afton equals this thing. And personally, I really like the thought. Just note that this thing, I'm calling it this thing now, this thing does actually have other faces in it. So I believe it does have a lot of correlations with the blob. And I really like this actually. What does it mean for the story? I honestly don't know. I don't know which came first, the Afton Amalgamation or the Blob. <laughs> you know, I believe it was the Afton Amalgamation. Somehow Afton found a way to escape it almost, uh, draw power from the Peterplex and create his own body. Uh, and now we have Burn Trap and a separate entity uh, still under the control of Afton uh, called the Blob. I, I believe that's, that's an okay theory. Um, it's not too bad. Hopefully I haven't been rambling on this entire time about random things. Um, hopefully you've understood most of what I've said. This is very complicated FNAF theory stuff, so it's understandable if you don't completely understand what I'm saying yet, but um, hopefully you, you kind of, you're taking in what I'm saying, you're maybe thinking about all of this for yourself and making your own theories off of it, because a lot of the time what I say is wrong, I will admit that. Uh, what I say gets a lot of backlash. Um, but really, I'm just here to kind of start a discussion with you guys. Um, and if you don't like my theory, you don't like my theory, but please give me constructive criticism. Tell me more about why you believe what you believe. And uh, well, yeah, tell me what you believe in the comments below. <laughs> anyway, make sure that you like this video and you subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, I've been Ozone, but I have to go Zone. See you later. Goodbye.